What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 video. And today's video is going to be your weekly vendor reset and must buys for Tuesday, July 20th. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe if you're new, and let me know in the comment section below what you think. Now if I pass over any items that I do not call a must buy but you do, just let me know in the comments what item it is and uh, we can talk about it. But alright, so we are starting off in the base of Ops in Washington, D.C. Let's uh, get this going. First vendor is right here through the front door. Alright, starting off with the Strategic Alignment. This is the named China Light Industries backpack with perfect shock and all. Now this one comes with health and hazard protection. Next up we have an AUG A3 Para with damage to targets out of cover and optimist. Um, that's not a bad, that's really not a bad AUG. Um, all you have to do is reroll the SMG damage for max and then just optimize the rest. It's really not that bad. Hmm. Next up we have a PDR with in sync and mag size. It's basically the test subject, but not as good. We have a D50 with damage to armor and future perfect. And then go to the gear items and mods. Richter and Kaiser backpack with bloodsucker, armor region, and crit damage. And then a Petrov chest piece with efficient, repair skills, and armor region. And then finishing off with the mods, we have a 4.4. Drone damage reduction, 4.7. A turret burn damage, 4.3 and sticky bomb duration of 6.2 all right so any must buys from our very first vendor of the day the aug isn't bad it's really not it's really not that bad and eh, that's about it moving on all right next stop is going to be our clan vendor and then we'll move around in washington dc going west and then doubling back to the east side Shout out to the DoD, to Disciples of Doom. All right, clan vendor, what you got? Always good to see you. All right. Scalpel. This is the uh, named marksman rifle with future perfection. Now this one actually comes with max damage to armor and nearly max headshot damage. All you have to do is buy this and max out the marksman rifle damage, and this much good to go. Um, that's a good pickup. Uh, let's go to the gear set items. Eclipse Protocol Mask with Crit Chance, 4.8. Future Initiative Mask with Status Effects. And a True Patriot Chest Piece with Hazard. Hmm. With Hazard, huh? I don't know. Alright, high-end items. Converted SMG9 with Ignited and Reload Speed. Followed by an enhanced PP-19 with damage to targets out of cover and also ignited. Then we have a Badger Mask with weapon handling and crit damage. SIG 556 with crit damage and steady handed. An ACRSS with max crit damage, reload speed, and vindictive. Empress International Holster with skill haste and repair skills and a badger tough pair of knee pads with armor region and also repair skills um that's a nice one um i have a holster though all right let's finish off with the mods skill duration 8.6 crit chance 4.9 seeker mind skill haste of 5.0 and then Pulse Radius 9.2. Now must buys for this clan vendor. I'll start off at the top. The Scalpel, this is a good marksman rifle and this one is nearly maxed out. All you have to do is recalibrate the marksman rifle damage. Um, next one I want everyone to look at, doo -ba -doo -ba -doo. the Empress International Holster. This is not a bad holster. So the skill haste is about 1.3% off of max, so that's not too bad. And then you can reroll that repair skills for anything. It could be skill damage, status effects, what have you. Um, three pieces of Empress International does 
wonders for a skill build. So I'd highly recommend checking it out. And then also this uh, pair of Badger Tough knee pads. The armor is pretty high at 152. The armor region is fairly high at 4100. And then just re-roll the repair skills. It could be for hazard, crit chance, crit damage, what have you. But this is not a bad template to work with. Alright, that is your clan vendor. So like I said, we're gonna go east and then make our way back, or go west and then make our way back east. Uh, starting off with the campus settlement. The settlement is red, you can still fast travel to it. Let's see. All right, now the campus vendor, she looks a lot like uh, Cassie Mendoza, might be her sister. All right, let's see uh, what she has. Welcome, agent. All right, starting off with the Night Watcher mask. I will have a build coming up fairly soon with this mask as the focal point, so just stay tuned for that. Now this mask ha comes with 100% scanner pulse haste. So that's only for the scanner pulse. And then this one also comes with explosive resistance and a low roll of armor. Next up we have the hunting M44 with crit damage and reformation. Followed by military L86 with health damage and frenzy. 511 mask with armor region and status effects. And Richter and Kaiser holster with status effects and headshot damage. Finish off with the mods. Repair skills, 16.4. Chem launcher skill haste, 5.9. Hive duration, 4.2. Pulse radius, 8.7. And trap duration of 4.3. Now, as far as must buys from the old campus, let's see. Um. Yeah, I'm going to say no. Alright. Next up, we have the Dark Zones. Starting with Dark Zone West. Oh, West! Let's see what we have over there. Alrighty. Dark Zone West. Do -do -do -do. Come on. Big money, big money, big money. All right, starting off at the top with the rock and roll uh, named shotgun. So this is basically, essentially, if you remember the Division One, this is the showstopper, but Division Two style. Just like how um, the apartment is the house, but Division Two style. Kind of the same deal here. So the rock and roll is a named shotgun with perfectly extra. So you get 50% more in your magazine. For the attribute, it also comes with crit damage. Not my favorite attribute to have, but that's what this one has. Next up, we have a Super 90 with headshot damage and killer, followed by a lightweight M4 with accuracy and future perfect. A pair of Aces and Eights gloves with headshot damage, and Eclipse Protocol knee pads with health. Um, Murakami Industries gloves with skill haste and status effects and then finally seska knee pads with armor region and headshot damage finish off with the mods armor on kill 15.3k seeker mine plus one seeker shield deflector damage of 4.2 firefly plus one max target and decoy duration 5.5 so, Dark Zone West must buys. Um, hmm. I'm gonna say no. There's no real, like, real good must buys there. They do have the rock and roll, which a lot of people want without going into the, you know, Dark Zone and doing PvP, but you can get a better rock and roll just by playing, like, two games of conflict. Alright, going down to DZ South. Earthang's better in the South. All right, come on. Come on with it. All right, DZ South. Here we go. Good to see you, Agent. Good to see you too, Vendor. All right, 
starting off at the top with the Manic. This is the named assault rifle with perfect overflowing. Now for the attribute, it comes with crit chance. Next up, we have a PP-19 with crit damage and killer. Carbine 7 with damage to targets out of cover and overflowing, but those attributes are pretty low. Officers M9 with damage to targets out of cover and vindictive. And then get into our gear items. Hunter's Fury Backpack with Skill Haste. Hardwired Chess Piece with Status Effects. 511 Backpack with Unstoppable Skill Damage and Status Effects. And then finally, a Fenris Chess Piece with Focus, Max Weapon Damage, Crit Damage, and Explosive Resistance. Um, just because this one has Max weapon damage on it. I am not a fan of focus, uh, so I don't recommend it on this pair of Fenris. But if you do, I would say just re-roll the explosive resistance off for crit chance. But again, I'm not a big fan of focus, especially on a Fenris chess piece. All right, finishing off with the mods. Crit damage, 10%. Drone deflector duration, 6.3. Turret health, 7.9. And then sticky bomb blast radius of 5.0. Uh, any must buys from DZ South? Um, I mean, some of these are okay, but I don't think any of them are must buys in my book. I appreciate right. the business. Moving up. East. Now remember, I'm not going to go to the main entrance. I'm going to go to the alpha checkpoint. And then you just walk out the door and there is your vendor. Now you might, you know, reload just so it throws you in an active lobby, but it doesn't even matter because we are worried about the Vinda. Hostiles guarding location nearby. Alright. And here we are. DZ East. Let's see what happens. Wanna make a deal? Alright, so at DZ East, starting off, we have the darkness. Darkness! It is your named marksman rifle with perfect eye uh, eyeless? Yeah, eyeless. My bad. I was about to say eyeglass. It's eyeless. Now, this one comes with max marksman rifle damage. What I recommend, and this could be a must buy if you want this one, is to re roll the health damage off for damage to targets out of cover or damage to armor. Either one will do just fine. Both of those are uh, multiplicative damage buffs. So I'd highly recommend that. Um, health damage isn't bad, but for a marksman rifle, you need to get through their armor to get to their health. So damage to health, or uh, damage to armor, or damage to target set of cover would probably be better. All right, M700 Tactical with mag size and strained. Then we have a military L86 with swap speed and fast hands. Gear items, clips mask with Hazard protection, 8.4. Now I know a lot of people, and I will keep this on the board here, a lot of people want Eclipse Protocol with Hazard. Remember that if you wear three pieces of Eclipse Protocol, you get 30% Hazard. So, if you think of it this way, if you have three pieces of Hazard protection with, or, uh, with Eclipse Protocol, you're gonna have up to 60% hazard just from those three items. And from your watch, you get 10%. So that's 70% off of three items. So it's very, very easy to find a y'all gear item with hazard, which would give you another 20%. So now you're at 90, just right off the rip. So just think about that. Just by running four gear items you could get max hazard just with a few little mod slots i mean it's really not that bad eclipse protocol is slept on when it comes to hazard protection builds and uh i don't know i guess i'm playing devil's advocate here next up we have eclipse proster with weapon handling then a douglas and harding with weapon handling and armor regen and then douglas and harding holster with weapon handling in armor region interesting huh it's like they want you to run a pistol build 
with good weapon handling and armor regen, huh? Interesting. All right, and finishing off with the mods. Skill haste, 10. Chem launcher damage, 4.3. Hive duration, 4.1. Pulse effect duration, 8.7. And then trap duration of 5.7. Any must buys from DZ East? Um, I mean, if you're looking for Eclipse Protocol with Hazard, definitely pick up the mask. And the darkness is not bad. Just reroll the health damage off for either damage to armor or damage to targets out of cover. All right, Detective moving on. Nearby location guarded by hostiles. All right, and our last location for Washington DC is the theater. And then we will make our way up to New York City and call it a day. Let's see. All right, theater settlement. Come on, buddy. All right, here we go. Glad you're here. First up, we have the Firm Handshake. This is the named Sokolov Concerned Gloves with status effects. Now, this one also comes with hazard protection, which is pretty cool. Um, a lot of people do enjoy running status effects builds with hazard that way they don't mess themselves up <laughs> while using it um, so this one's not bad all you have to do is reroll the weapon damage off for either max weapon damage or armor or if you're nasty a skill tier next up we have the spaz 12 with health damage and in sync followed by the 1886 with damage to armor and vindictive then we have Empress International Gloves with status effects and hazard protection. Hello. And then a pair of Sokolov Concern knee pads with max armor region and health. Interesting. Okay. And then finishing off with the mods. We have Shock Resistance, 8.6. Seeker Mind Damage, 4.1. Shield Damage Bonus, 4% per enemy. Damage, 5.8 and then finally decoy health of 6.0 now looking at the theater settlement any must buys I mean the firm handshakes are cool you could you know flip that into a nice build and then also what's oddly crazy I don't know I don't know how I feel about these suckle of concern knee pads because just thinking about knee pads overall image you want Fox's prayer for armor region you want emperor's guard um so it's kind of hard to think about using sokolov concern knee pads like these could be fun to run but uh, there's so many other better knee pads you could run all right and that is it for washington dc let's uh, make our way to new york we have two vendors there we will have marco at the top of the escalator and then we will have roy benitez on the outside don't forget to pet the dog like seriously don't forget safe area entered all right now we are in new york city let's talk to marco here he is what up marco what you got hey want to make a trade all right starting off we have the black market t821 with health damage and fast hands next up the surplus svd with crit chance and ignited I mean those are some really high attributes um, I'm not a big fan of having ignited on a sniper but I mean this one's really high for the attributes interesting next up we have the marine super 90 with headshot damage and vindictive and then a custom PF 45 with damage to armor and spike finish off with the gear items Sokolov Concern, chess piece with Intimidate, Hazard Protection, and Armor Regen. Wow. Hmm. Interesting. Hope I'll pick that up. Use out of that one. So if you max out the Armor Regen, optimize just a little weapon damage and hazard, you could definitely make like a tank meta build. Interesting. Next up, we have Providence Defense Gloves with Crit Chance and Hazard Protection. Um, just reroll the Hazard Protection off for Crit Damage, and you've got a really good pair of gloves there. And then 511 Mask with Max Armor 
and it comes with hazard protection of 8.1. Like, that's Enjoy another that good one. It looks like Just fun. reroll the health off for, like, I don't know, armor regen or something like that, and then all of a sudden you have a hazard armor regen build. I mean, that's not a bad pickup either. And then finishing off with the mods. Headshot damage, 7.4. Disorient resistance, 8.4. Shield Deflector Damage, 4.2. Hive Health, 7.4. And then Sticky Bomb Blast Radius of 4.8. But uh, must buys from Marco. Like, uh, this SVD is really nice if you want it with Ignited. This Sokolov Concern Chess Piece is really nice as well if you want, like, a tanky meta build. And then, um, well, actually, this pair of Providence Defense Gloves can be godly. Just reroll the hazard protection for max crit damage, and then optimize the crit chance and weapon damage. And then finally, the 511 uh, Mask is pretty good as well. I mean, uh, Marco's not bad. Marco is getting it. All right, and last but not least, Roy Bonitas. Yeah. But first... Need to pet the dog. What's up, buddy? What up, buddy? Oh, good boy. You're always wagging your tail when I'm here. Look at you. You gonna grow up one day? You're a couple years old and you're still the same size. Alright, well, I'll talk to you later. Alright, Roy Benitez, you old glasses wearing mother. Alright, let's see what he has. What can I do for you? All right, starting off with a SIG MPX with max SMG damage and close and personal. What? So you could use this with that Intimidate chest piece I just got. Just reroll the health damage off for either damage to targets out of cover or damage to armor. That's really not a bad SIG. Next up, we have the Black Market M60 with nearly max mag size and preservation. Followed by 1886 with in sync and max crit chance. Wow, look at that. You could have like a crit, uh, like a crit rifle build with in sync. Obviously, you probably would run a shield with that. I, I don't know. That's pretty sick. Okay. Then a uh, snub nosed with damage targets out of cover and eyeless. Um. Overlord Armaments, Chess Piece with Crit Chance, Skill Haste, and Overwatch. Petrov Knee Pads with Headshot Damage and Weapon Handling. And then finally, Petrov Defense Holster with Status Effects and Crit Damage. Finishing off with the mods. Skill Haste 10.1. Incoming Repairs, he points. Shield Health 4.3. Firefly Skill Haste, 5.9, and then Trap Duration of 6.0. Now for Roy Benitez, any must-buys? Ba -ba -da -da. SIG MPX, definitely pick that up. This 1886 is not bad. Um, I kind of want to use it, but I'm just really, I'm, I'm a huge fan of multiplicative damage. I am not a huge fan of crit. This is not Division 1, where crit was God. This isn't that. This is Division 2, where multiplicative damage is God. So, I don't know. If you like running crit builds, you like running instinct shield builds, definitely pick this up. It probably two-tap people. Um, but for me personally, I'm just not a huge fan of the crit. Um, but never say never. Let me pick one up anyways. Why not? But all right, that is your weekly vendor reset and must buys for today, Tuesday, July 20th. I'm Kamikaze Von Doom. Don't forget, help out the channel by hitting that like, subscribe if you're new, and let me know in the comment section below what you think. Did I pass over some items that you think are must buys? Let's discuss down below. But all right, guys, Kamikaze Von Doom here, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.